Welcome back, guys. What are we going to be doing in this episode? Well, we're going to be we're going to be optimizing our power, and we're going to be producing more power and using less power and all that kind of stuff. Now, I just wanted to show you. I'm running it slowly at the moment. Oh, what are they doing? They haven't got a lot to do at the moment, to be honest. Um, let me let me do a couple of things. So, if we look at our resources, we are. Where are we? We have got like a thousand kilograms of coal. So we're virtually out of coal. Now, the reason that we've suddenly started consuming so much power is because of these transit tubes. Now, let me see. If we um, if we take a look at this heavy watt wire over here. Right. We're, we're, uh, we are currently. It says we're not producing. Yeah, we're not producing any power at the moment. We're running off the batteries. And we are consuming 720 watts. But as soon as these guys start using these transit tubes, our power consumption goes up massively. Right? And the reason for that is these consume, look at this. We're consuming 3.5 kilowatts of power. And if, if we watch this, it'll probably go over four. Let's see, three, 3.7, 4.2. Right? Now, even with even with all of our coal uh, generators running, we're only producing 3.6, and we don't have enough coal to be running these all the time, uh, and our hydrogen generators aren't running all the time. So we need uh, we need some extra power. So what I'm going to do in the short term is I'm going to disable all of these. Uh, we'll turn them back on fairly shortly, or at least some of them. Uh, disable that one and that one and that one and that one and they say disable disable All right okay right while we're doing that um also we want to start producing more coal so i want to get my hatches sorted out and at the moment they're overcrowded look overcrowded and glum so they're not going to be laying any eggs they'll still be producing the coal and whatever but they won't be laying any eggs if we look at the rooms the rooms are 95 tiles and they should be 96 for, uh, for eight critters to a room. So all I need to do is up here with this airflow tile, uh, deconstruct that, and we'll deconstruct this one up here. Right, that'll make them happy. And then I wanna populate this room with, uh, with little critters. So we're gonna go up here, and we're gonna say, uh, no, not, don't want smooth hatchling eggs. Uh, I want stone hatchling eggs. Uh, but we haven't got any at the moment. It's a bit of a bit of an issue. Well, as soon as we get some stone hatch eggs, we'll start hatching them up there. But the, the thing I must do is say, don't don't break the, the stone hatchling eggs. So, zero. All right, cool. So that's that's that done. That should um, that should stop us running out of coal quite so quickly. Uh, oh, look at this. We're out of coal. Now you might think, oh my god, that's a nightmare. Not really, because look, we've got tons of coal. The thing is, because I've had the hatches producing coal, we haven't been using coal um, coal resources on the map. If we have a look, where are we? Consumer blow. All of this pink stuff is coal, right? And there's some big seams of coal around. Wait, look at, there's tons of coal around here. Loads of the blooming stuff. So, yeah, we haven't got an issue. Loads of it all over the place. Right, so um, so what we'll do in the in the short term is we'll dig through here and we'll dig up a bunch of this coal over here. Let's, in fact, let's do it like this. Zip, 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 zip. Ah, wrong one. Get rid of that. We've got a morb there. Let's um, get rid of him. Don't don't nasty morbs around. All right, um, can I speed it up at this point? Yeah, I can. Right. I've got a lot of tidying up work to do in this episode, uh, as well as sorting all the power out. It's going to be a fun episode, I think. It's going to be a bit chaotic, though. Let's deconstruct that. Deconstruct that. And I'm going to run this down here. Then we can run some insulated tiles across here, because this is going to be effectively the bottom of the main base. Ultimately, what I'm going to do is have them, I think, coming down here 
and then have um, exosuits, an exosuit dock here, and then have them going out. You know what? I want to do a bit more exploring anyway. That's a good point. So why don't I run this ladder like as far as it'll go? And the same with this fireman's pole. Oh, what am I making? What am I building that out of? I'm building that out of gold. That's silly. Let's do it out of iron. What's this made out of? Let's do this whole thing out of iron ore. I'm even getting a bit low on iron ore. But, but there's tons of iron ore around the place, so it's not really an issue. Okay, so. Um, optimizing power. How do we start using less power? Well, for example, this pump. We only want this pump to pump when it can pump um, 500 grams, because that's the maximum it can pump per second. So what we want to do is set this to at least 500 grams. And I want to give it a bit of leeway. So I will say, if the pressure is above 600 grams in this tile, then you can pump. Boom. I'm going to put in another incubator. Now, you, pro you might be saying to yourself, why are you putting in an another incubator when you're trying to save power? Well... We're going to save power as well. So I'm going to put another incubator in there. But I'm also going to put uh, a clock sensor in here. And I'm going to run automation wire through the clock sensor and all of these incubators. And we'll make that, not the, not the automation wire, the clock sensor. Make the clock sensor high priority. Still no stone hatch eggs. Give me more eggs, damn it. Okay, what I'm going to do with this clock sensor is say that I only want this to run for, say, 15%. And I want this to be in the morning. So if, if, we, look at, if we look at their schedules, I want this to be like after, the, after they get up in the mornings. All right, so, you know, we'll, we'll, let, let's let it run through until we get after bath time. All right, cool. So what, what's going to happen is when, when the clock sensor activates, then these will all be activated. And then the ranchers can come along here. I, uh, so I've set this, this mopping to priority eight. And I should have set it at a lower priority. Um... There we go. And I should have set all of these to a high priority because when th when this is active, we want them to come and sing lullabies to the eggs. So we'll crank all of these up to priority eight. Eight and eight. All right. So now, with a bit of luck, Squeezer, are you going to go and hug some eggs? We've only got one egg up there. Yeah, I'll, sh I'll show you that later. But you'll see... That these don't need to run all day. Uh, oh, we've got a stone hatch egg just been put in there. And you'll see that it's incubating. Whereas this one is incubating and has been lullabied. And it's the lullaby buff that speeds up the incubation process. If we look at this one, you can see that's only one triangle up. So that, that's incubating slowly. This one is incubating fast because it's been lullabied. But these only need to be on for a short period of time for them to do the lullaby, and then the rest of the day they don't need to be on. Okay, so that's just saved us a lot of power. Because, now, and I've got to say, I'm not really a fan of this. Incubators should run all day, because the whole point is that they keep the egg warm. So they should be running all day, but, you know, it's the mechanics of the game. Get over it, Sky. All right, fine. Right, uh, so let's see. I want to put, Floors. I want to completely restructure this. So I'm going to rip out, let's see, rip out buildings. I'm going to rip those out and I'm going to rip those out. Uh, I'm going to rip these deodorizers out. deodorizers out. We don't need those. And I'm going to start putting some floors in. And we want this done with iron ore. So let's run a floor across there. So that's one, two, three, four. Yeah. So then one, two, three, four. So we want another floor across there. And one, two, three, four. We'd want another floor across there. Let's run that down there. Let's run that down there. And in fact, I'd like I might as well go down to there, mightn't I? Yep. 
Now what I want to do, my plan, uh, my plan down here is um, is to put in an exosuit dock so that when they come down here they have to change into exosuits and then to go further out they have to they have to put their exosuits on that i like the idea of that that's a good idea i think um, i want to get rid of these tra these power transformers here because i want us to be using the, the power coming in from the sides not up from the bottom anymore i've decided i've decided that's the way i want it to be so we can rip out that connection. This is just hooked up to there. Okay, so um, if I rip out, which one am I going to use? This one or this one? I'll probably use this one. If I rip out that, and then I can rip all of that out and all of that out. And in fact, I can rip the whole blooming circuit out. There we go. Boom, gone. And then I can get some conductive wire and run it across here. And then I'm going to have to, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's just go down the ladder. There we go. I want this pump and this on a circuit over here. So let's put in a generator uh, there. We'll run some heavy watt wiring. And then we'll get uh, conductive wire. I'm just going to run this straight across for now. Because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this room. It's probably going to get changed and whatever. So uh, that's going to go straight into there. And then you know what? It can just go absolutely straight across and into there. Which means we can then rip out that and that. And you know what? If I rip that out to there, rip that out of there, then I can run some conductive wire across there. Oh, I need to get rid of this as well, don't I? Yeah. So rip out that one as well. I am giving them quite a lot to do at the moment, but they do love deconstructing. There we go. And there we go. We want conductive wire run along into there. So that is great. So now I've got all my power coming in from the sides, which I like. All right, sweet. So now we can do a bit of sorting out. Deconstruct that. Deconstruct that one. In fact, let's get yeah, I'm set to buildings. Uh, deconstruct all of those and that one. All right, cool. So now I can start ripping all of this stuff out. So we can rip all of that lot out. We should rip that out. Okay, let, let me get these, um, these floors organized. Okay, we've pretty much got all the floors in the way that I want it now. So we can start moving stuff around. Okay, so how are we going to do this? Uh, I'm going to align them vertically, is what I think I'm going to do. So, uh, let's pause this for a second while I lay this out. So, power. We want a uh, smart battery is going to go there, I think. And then I'm going to want a hydrogen generator to go... Am I going to put it there? Any reason not to put it there? Any reason I want space on the end? I don't think there is. So I think that one's going to go there. That one's going to go there. Okay, go. Start getting those built. Since we're putting those in, we'll rip that one out and rip that one out. Cool. Oh, you know what I should look at? I should just look at the automation. Ah, you know what? If I... Let's put that battery one further over. So if we put the battery on the end, what do I want? Power and smart battery goes there. Then if I get my automation wire, my automation wire can run straight down there. I like that. That's neat. We'll run the gas pipe across there and down into there and down and into there. And we'll rip out all of this other stuff. Boom. Go. Do that. 
Uh, we will run heavy watt wire. Uh, we'll run it across here, I think. And go up there. Once they've put that in, then I'm going to rip that out. So I'd want this going up here, into that one, and into that one. And then we're going to have another smart battery. And then we're going to have some coal generators. Now, let's see. They are one, two, three. So then we want to leave another space. And we'd want another smart battery with another row of coal generators. Uh, do I want to put a third row? I mean, I don't think... I, I can't imagine that I'm going to use more than six coal generators, like, ever. So we'll leave that like that for now. Oh, by the way, at the end of the... I meant to show you this at the beginning of last episode. Um, this had all, like... Well, apart from, like, the bottom row, this had all turned to steam. And I deliberately didn't touch it. I started this episode at the, like, exactly where I left off. Um, and I meant to show you that this will just, like, sort itself out, which it has. Uh, without me doing anything. I haven't touched it at all. This is still set at 19 degrees. And I wanted to leave it just so that you could see that it sorted itself out. But in actual fact, I want... Um, if, if we watch the dupes as they run around, you might be able to see the... If I slow it down, you might be able to see that they can see their breath when they're breathing. Certainly in certain parts of the base. Um, let's bring up the temperature. Yeah, so like, like, I mean, especially like over here and whatever, it's, it's the base is getting very cool. So I think I'm going to bump this up. I mean, bear in mind what what I'm saying is that I, I don't want I don't want the base warmer than 19 degrees. Which is, that's pretty damn cool. So let's bump this up to say 22. And I, I might take it even higher than that. I mean, the, ideally, we, we, we'd like the whole base to be like 25 degrees, say. Um, I don't want it to be anything above 25 degrees because of my fish. I want to keep that at 25 degrees. So 22 degrees is absolutely fine. So we want smart battery there. Then we're going to have space one, two. Yeah, so that one's going to be there in actual fact. Where's my coal generator? Coal generator's going to go uh, there. And then, oh, now I want six coal generators. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. You know, I put that blooming cable in the wrong place. It should have been there. What a maroon. Let's try that again. Keep going, guys. you got lots to do. Why, why do I keep stopping you? Heavy what wire. That should come down to there. That's better. That goes into there. So, rip all that out. Fortunately, ripping stuff out doesn't take too long. Rip all that stuff out. Um, yeah, we can rip all of that out. And that. And that. And in fact, we can rip all of that out. Right, good news. Get some airflow tiles going along there. Rip those out like that. Cool. In fact, I can extend those a bit further. Now we can put in our automation wires. What do I want? I want automation. So we want automation wire going down there like that. Automation wire going up there like that. Cool. So, now I can plan out my natural gas, which is what, what I've been trying to get to the whole episode, really. Um, so, how, how do I want to do this? Natural gas. So, again, I want to leave a space. So, that's going to go in there. Now, natural gas generators leak. Um, they leak polluted water. I'm going to put I'm going to put 3 in for now, I guess. Am I going to put 3 in for now? Yeah, I'm going to put 3 in for now. And they leak water uh, polluted water through here. So what we want to do is we want to get rid of that tile and replace it with a mesh tile. What am I making these out of? Uh, let's make them out of iron ore. So we want a mesh tile there, there, there. Now obviously this has got to go. And I'm going to move this 
uh, down here, I think. What have we revealed? Let's take a look at the map. Oh, we've got another... Another guy's up. I'll show you a tip. I'm going to do a tips video, by the way. I'm going to include... This is one of the tips that's going to be in that video. Uh, so, if we look... If we look at the map here, you can see... There's a, a, a strip of neutronium. And neutronium kind of shows up. You can see we've got another geyser there as well. And they show up very easily if you use the temperature map. But then, what type of um, what type of geyser is it? Well, if you go to priority and you use yellow alert, right? Then it pops up a yellow alert message, and that yellow alert message tells you what type of geyser it is. Geyser. Now, oh, that's a natural gas geyser. This one over here, wherever the hell it is, this one. This one is. What are you? Oh, that's an iron volcano. Ho ho ho! That's going to be fun. Ooh, I need to do more exploring. I need to dig more exploration tunnels. But that's blooming awesome. Natural gas geyser, geyser down here. Uh, let's, let's extend this. Let's see. What, what do I want to come down to there? Oh, I lose another pinch. I hate losing pinch of peppers. I don't know why, but I do. I hate losing pinch of peppers. Let's run that down there. Run that down there. We'll let that hydrogen go up there, I guess. Yeah, go. Go, go, go. All right, cool. So, uh, what do I want to do here? How do I want to do this? One, two, three. So if we do it like that, and put the pump in there, and we'll dig out those two tiles there, and then we'll put mesh tiles on the top so that they can just run straight across it. Yeah, that works. And I suppose I'll run tiles across there. All right, cool. So having sorted that out, now we need to sort out the actual natural gas itself. So the natural gas, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off this gas filter. Oh, give me the damn gas filter and disable building. Priority nine. Do it. Oh, two people are suffocating. Where? Uh, see, that's the problem. I will have to put in uh, temporarily, I'm going to have to put in a ladder. In fact, to get them out, you know what, I'm going to have to deconstruct that priority nine. Go. Oh, no, no, I'm going to have to deconstruct that one as well. Yeah, quick. Oh, good job. Nobody died. Hooray. What I want to do now is have some gas storage. Now, this is going to be the issue. I want to leave... Well, especially now I've found another another uh, natural gas geyser. I can have, um, like, more of these. Uh, I'm going to be able to run, like, at least four. I'm, th I'm, I'm now thinking that maybe I'll have two rows of these. Potentially. But anyway, anyway, the point is... I keep digressing because <laughs> I'm enjoying this so much. Uh, we want this. Where's the automation for this? It's a good question. Okay, the automation's there. So we want power. We want a smart battery in. Was it there? Yes. And then automation wire goes down there like that. Okay, power. Heavy watt wire. Heavy watt wire goes. All the way across those, all the way across those, and across those, and across these batteries, or some source. And then the way we're going to set these batteries up is we'll say, we want hydrogen burned first. So we'll set this to like 95 with a low threshold of, say, 60%. So if our batteries are below 60%, they'll burn hydrogen up to, to fill the batteries up to 95%. Then we want, um, I'm gonna set this to nine, I suppose I could set this to 95 as well. I'm gonna set it to 94, 94. I'm gonna set the threshold on the natural gas to let's say 45. So this one's 60. I suppose I could set this to 50. Yeah, I suppose I could set that to 50. So. If our batteries get below 50%, then the natural gas will kick in. And then we'll say, if it gets below 
And I'll set this one to like 93. Um, if we get below 40, then these will kick in. And we'll set this to 92 and say this is 30. So if we get below, our batteries get below 30%, then these three coal generators will kick in. So hydrogen first, then natural gas, then these, then these. Awesome source. We need... Because I delete, because like, I destroyed them. We need somewhere to put our coal. Uh, consumable or coal. And it's going to be... Am I going to make it a priority? No, I'm not. So we'll just copy that into there and there. All right, good. All right, so that's, that's our new power setup. Pretty much done. Apart from, obviously, the natural gas. Now, um, if I'm going to allow room for another set of these generators. I, I can't imagine I'm going to have more than six. So let's say that was going to be there. My question then is, do I put my natural gas storage over here? And I'm kind of thinking that I do. So if I put gas reservoirs, um, do I start there or start here? Maybe I start here. And let's leave, let's leave a gap, I think. So I'd want one, two, three, four. I'm, I'm thinking of putting like six of these in. I can, I can get rid of that pipe now. And then I'd be able to, where are we? Ventilation, give me it, ventilation. Then I can run an insulated gas pipe. That's gonna run all the way down this ladder. So I need to rip that out as well. Good. Okay, they've done that. So, this is going to go into that gas pipe. This is going to come out of there. So, this is the natural gas that we're filtering out. It's going to come all the way down this ladder. And then, I want it to go into, into these storages. Let's run it straight down and into the first reservoir. Then it comes out of the first reservoir and goes into the second reservoir. Do I want to do it that way or do I want to run it down and then back up and down? It's a good question. Um, let's assume that goes into there. Then this one's going to go into this one. And that one's going to go into that one. And then this one goes into <laughs> that one. Uh, where's the last reservoir goes in there and ventilation insulate gas pipe so this one comes out of there goes into there and then this one is the one that's going to be the feeder pipe the way i'm going to do this the way i'm going to empty this out is he says uh yeah 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 i think i know how i'm going to do this now i think i've I think I've finally figured it out. Right, so to, to empty this, I want this to go this way, but I'm going to have to turn it round afterwards. You'll see why. Let's pop that in there. We want insulated gas pipe going across to there. Once they build that, this will all start emptying into here and we'll fill up these reservoirs. Yeah, 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 that works. Let's run this up back up here and then it's going to go down here into that one down here into that one down here into that one hooray then the carbon dioxide uh i don't need an insulated pipe for the carbon dioxide the carbon dioxide is going to come i'm going to bring it out that way yeah out there 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 it's just going to come down here and just get dumped here is fine so gas vent boom all right, how are we doing? All right, so we're starting to drain this system. So we've drained everything all the way down there. We've drained the reservoir. Who's suffocating? Oh, Lucy, you freaking idiot. Oh, man. Okay, deconstruct priority nine. Deconstruct priority nine. Go. Thank you. You lemon. Fancy getting stuck in there. Alrighty, so we have drained that whole system now. So what we can do now 
is this liquid bridge, uh, liquid bridge, that gas bridge, take that out, now it's suffocating. I, like, what the hell is wrong with you people? Uh, no, not gas pipes. Let's deconstruct that. Priority nine. Right, stop doing that. I should have waited for him to finish everything first. I really should. All right, so how are we doing? We've got all of that in. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's all set. We've just got a few little bits of pipe, and that's going to start running. We're joking. Beautiful. Okay, cool. Obviously, we, like if, if I was going to have another row of these, then I want another battery there. Um, we could run another pipe down there. The CO2 comes out. Yeah, that's so that's fine. Yeah, this all hangs together, kind of nicely in actual fact. So I can uh, I can actually turn this back on now. Enable building. That can start pumping, and we can start building up loads and loads of natural gas. Hooray, that's running. Peachy. So I can now start ripping this out. Which gives me, like, deep joy. Isn't it fun ripping out old horrible pipes? Uh, that and that. And all of that. And up to there. And then this is why I need to flip that pipe around, because before we want the, wanted the flow going that way. Now, I'm going to want this flow going this way. So, we want ventilation, and we want a gas bridge, and I want to flip it around that way. Boom. Hooray. Good news. And the last reservoir goes in, and now... So the gas comes down here, and then we're flowing through our reservoir system and now we're gonna start consuming natural gas <laughs> and there we go and we start producing carbon dioxide and oh they've stopped because our batteries are full but as our batteries drop down see our hydrogen generators kick in first and then if it still keeps going down, which at the moment it's not. <laughs> so we actually need to consume more power. Let's turn on that building and that building. Oh, look. We've got, we've got a stone hatch in here. We've got an egg. Oh, we've got three stone hatches running around in there. We've got three eggs ready to hatch. Oh, so the stone hatch, our coal production is going to be going up nicely. What are we up to with coal? We're already up to 21 tons. There we go. So the power dropped down below, what was it set to? 40, 50. Below 50% 50 for, for a little while. And then these kicked in and they produce a little bit of, uh, a little bit of polluted water. You know, like how, how much is there there? Polluted water, there's like 5.5 kilograms. It's a relatively small amount, which is why I haven't hooked this up yet because it's, it's kind of not a priority. Oh, come on. Use some power, damn it! Now they won't use any power. Uh, I tell you what, let's put uh, let's put these. Enable that one and enable that one. There we go! Hooray! And they're going to start to use it. Awesome source. And now this kicks in because let's have a look. If we go to the power view, now we are now we're starting to consume some power. We're we're back up in the in the twos, threes consistently and we are producing well 2.4 at the moment so we haven't got any hydrogen at the moment so at the moment it's just our three natural gas running and they produce 800 watts each so that's our 2.4 oh and now our hydrogen uh, generators are running so we're producing four kilowatts so we're not even using the coal generators at the moment and we're producing four kilowatts awesome so if we get this natural gas pumping into here as well Oh, we're going to be looking good on power. All right, sweet. So there you go. Look at look at this. How re we've got almost four reservoirs full. Now, each one of these holds 150 kilograms. So that's three, six. That would be 900 kilograms of, uh, of natural gas stored up, which would be pretty sweet. 
All right, guys, we're going to leave it there for this episode. My God, that is, um, that's taken quite a long time. But I am very pleased with what I've got done. This, I love this now. This is so much tidier. Hydrogen, natural gas, coal, all streamlined, all organized, all optimized. Looking good. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you for the next episode. I can't wait to see your comments on this. I'm sure there's um, all kinds of stuff that's screwed up. And I will catch you for the next one. Peace out.